Yeah. All right, let's go. We have the Path of Honor box here, and we're going to be opening it up and taking a look at what we have inside. I am joined by Greg here overhead. Hello. <laughs> we're going to open this one up. There we go. So what do we have inside of here? We have the Path of Honor insert. Oh God. We have a checklist card. We have our seated pack. The uh, the protector card for the Fight to Hydra event. And we have two packs on this side and three packs over on the other side. We have a spin down. With where's the Thero symbol at? There we go. Nice. There's the Thero symbol. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, so. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> we'll move that up. So you're saying you open up every time you walk in. <laughs> Let's take a look at the seated pack first, because I'm actually pretty curious about what's in these seated packs. This is actually not my actual pre-release box. This is uh, one of our friends. He's not playing in the pre-release, but he wanted us to. Uh, open it on camera, so we'll see what well, he gets. The packs are weird. Uh, we have Celestial Archon. Nah, he's that. We have Dissolution. Oh, yeah. Fleece Main Line. That's oh, nuts. Oh, wow. that's so nuts. That's beautiful. Insatiable Harpy. Dauntless Onslaught. Centaur Battlemaster. Okay. Uh, Citizen Griffin. Okay. Felhai Minotaur. Whatever. Griptide. Hey. Griptide's all right. Hopeful Edelon. Oh, why not? Uh, Coastline Chimera. Rage of Perforos, oh, wow. Battlewise Valor, Feral Invocation, Fars Warden, okay. and Seder Rambler. That's the last one out of the seated pack. So, yeah, yeah just out of there, the white and green cards are fun. Yeah, that's that's wonderful. I mean, Fleece Main Line, that's just a sick pull, but um, there, there's other uh, solid green cards in there as well as the white. Griffin that has a activation ability. So, yeah. good. Uh, so we have Lash of the Whip, uh, Messenger's Speed, God's Willing, a great merchant of Acidafel. That guy's really Acidifel. good. He ruins lives. Trust Scholar me. of Atheris, Triton Shorthy. Shorshri. Shorshri. God, that's a weird word to pronounce. Well, we're not playing him, so don't worry about it. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Blood Tool Harpy, uh, Wingsteed Rider, Sick. Spearpoint okay. Ori. Breach point Hippocamp. Horsefish. Horsefish. Ordeal of Perforos again. Uh, Seder Piper. Decorated Griffin. Anger of the Gods. That's that's awesome, but I, that's, I don't know if that's going to be... Well, I mean, he's not actually playing this, but if he was, I don't even know if he would play that in an elemental. Some other good, some other good white stuff in there, for sure. Yeah. And the uncommon Griffin, more more flying. That's beautiful. Chosen by Heliod. Uh, mnemonic Wall. I'm, I'm really happy to see that back. I know. Viper's Kiss. Lightning Strike. Because, yes! Because why not? Zach's here now, too. Well, uh, that's what happens when Lightning Strikes. Zach shows up. <laughs> Disciple of Fenax. Ray of Dissolution. Volpine Goliath. A Null. Titan Strength. That's pretty good. Uh, yoked Ox. Yoke it up. Tormented Hero. Ooh. Horizon Scholar. Dauntless Onslaught again. Uh, Prophet of Krufix. Krufix. Uh, More weird words. That's I, I actually really like this card. I, I want to try and standard. Soldier. I want to live in magical Christmas land where I'm playing Cynic oh, oh. Flash and winning every game. Yeah. I mean, because untap all the time, why not? Yeah, I think awesome. this card's a little bit underrated. Oh, definitely. I, I absolutely agree with that. Uh, Battlewise Valor. Load some Catawba Pass. Catawba Pass. Catawba Pass. Something. Wave Crash Triton. Opaline Unicorn. That robot Unicorn. All right. Lost in a Labyrinth. In one of them. Yeah, you are. Uh, Farika's Curse. Nice. Rage of Perforos. Feral Invocation. Yeah. Return Centaur. <laughs> tormented Hero again. More tor Tormented Ooh. Heroes. Triton Tactics. Oh, Insatiable Harpy. <laughs> and Soldier of Pantheon. That's pretty cool. Uh, Priestess of Iros as a foil. Island and a element. Oh, nice. Or elemental tokens. Well, all you need is a Master of Waves and you're good. <laughs> you already have them. Hey, that's a, that's a mythic token right there, buddy. That's a mythic token. It is. Are there any more elemental creators in the set? I can't, I can't think of any. I don't think. Uh, Cavalry Pegasus, Naela's Disciple, Stymied Hopes. Stymied Hopes. Yes. Savage Surge. 
a blind unicorn again. More robot unicorn. Uh, Agent of Horizons, Fate into Antiquity. Oh, the green kill spell. Seder Rambler, Observant uh, All Seed. We'll figure it out later. Scourge Mark. These pronunciations are going to be awful. Don't, don't, don't even pay attention. We'll just to fix it in post. English isn't my first language anyway. Uh, <laughs> Anvil Rot Raptor, and another Insatiable Harpy, Sea Lock Monster, uh, Rage Blood Shaman, Tribal Minotaurs, All right. go for it. Uh, Planes and a Soldier, and then the last pack here. Oh, that fell. Let's pick it up. Pick, pick, pick it up. There we go. And last pack. Let's see here. All right, we have Messenger's Speed, Mnemonic Wall again, Cavalry Pegasus. Voyages ends. Bye bye. Sanch Hearted Warrior. Commune with the Gods. Okay. Hopeful Eagleon. Uh, Spark Jolt. Return. <laughs> Flanks. Phalanx. Flank. Phalanx. Phalanx. Uh, Coastline Chimera. Battlewise Hoplite. Yes. Flame Speaker Adept. Okay. Which is I. Thassa! Oh, that's so awesome! That's so awesome. And then we have a force and a soldier. So, uh, pretty cool packs overall. I, I think this one was kind of like everywhere. This one didn't really have anything outstanding in like one specific direction. Yeah, there's a lot of options. I mean, early on, you know, with the police main line the first pack, I was like, oh, green, white. That's the obvious yeah. way to go. But then uh, green, white, blues, something, I guess. Yeah, and then in the middle, it was like, oh, okay, maybe red, red, white. But then when you get to the end with Thassa and some of the other like later blue cards that you pulled, blue white also seems like an option. Yeah. So I would probably try to force three color, just go bamf with it. I think that's, that's pretty fun. cool. Like uh, I think actually for the pre-release, three colors is it, probably it seemed, favorable. Yeah, it seemed like it was not a good idea. And then after the pre-release last night for the midnight one, the three card exited really well. So I, I think actually in this format you get rewarded for pushing three. Yeah. So it was really so, pretty cool stuff. Uh, let us know how your. Uh, Pre-release packs went what uh, Heroes Path you chose and what cool cards you pulled out of there. If anything really awesome, any foils, any big mythics or anything like that. Let us know down in the comments below. Remember to subscribe for more Magic the Gathering videos. And I'll see you guys back here next time. Count that cards and games. Keep it mythological.